Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic in the Town. Now I hope you guys enjoyed that intro, it really probably could have been about 5 minutes long how much stuff we have here today. Uh, we built a lumber mill, a saw mill, whatever you want to call it, it's been a much requested item in the town because of all the trees and forest. Now I'm going to go ahead and say that this build is not in the town. This build is way too laggy for the town. And I'll explain a little more about that here in a second. Uh, one more announcement I want to make is that Scrap Energy won the voting for the power plant. Thank you to all who voted. It was like 1600 so that's pretty awesome. So the plant will be called Scrap Energy and I'll make a sign for it. But remember folks, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel and let's jump right into this. Alright folks, we've got a lot of stuff here today. Now... The reason this isn't in the town, and I've talked about this a little bit, we're going to do some town modular builds. Modular meaning that they're all on one slate, uh, they might not be in the town map, and the reason being this building or this lot is way too laggy for the town. The town just doesn't like it. So I will put this map up for download if you want to download the map with all the stuff already in it, or we'll have all this on the workshop. But uh, a lot of you guys were actually really okay with me doing some of these builds. That way we can do some more advanced stuff and not have to worry about killing the town. So we will be back to the normal town map, but this is something that I really wanted to do. And I've got to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian. He helped me out a whole lot on this. We just hammered it out a couple days of building and we've got a lot of stuff here. So, hmm, where to start? You're probably wondering what this is. This is from the intro. It's just a very, very simple truck. It's a log truck. It's got a flatbed on it. Uh, we made it into a dually. And there's this uh, wood pallet on there. Now, this truck is actually just a modified version of trucks that I've had in the past. I just think it looks actually pretty cool. Uh, we'll put this up on the workshop. Like I said, nothing much to it. We're not going to drive it around a whole lot here. Uh, all the basic functions work. It's got some lights on it. Overall, it just looks really cool. And I figured we need a way to haul some wood around. Now, you're also seeing another wood trailer. We didn't use this in the intro, but this is another option. Say if you have one of my diesels, uh, you can hook this bad boy up to it and you can haul around some really big pieces of lumber. So there's the uh, also the diesel over there that's from the uh, truck stop world. I just stuck it in the background to kind of represent this is what we would be pulling with it. So yeah, uh, the area we're in, this looks actually perfect. You can see some of the cut down trees behind us here. And overall, it's a pretty dense area. I was initially going to put this over in the other town map by the uh, My Summer Car House. But like I said, uh, this lot. This lot is something. Alright, as far as the lot, there's actually quite a bit of stuff going on here. You see all these little pallets. It's just something I made. We duplicated them and we were welding them to the ground. This would be one way to get wood in. Uh, these pieces of wood are not nearly as big as what's on the trailer. That would be a completely different process. But we've got that, we've got a little covered awning here. Uh, these are all welded down except for this one. This one can actually interact with the huge forklift over there. So yeah, you've got all these little areas here. Uh, for most of the pictures that I saw, there's tons of storage in these uh, lumber mills. So that's what all of this is. Uh, I probably could make one more covered awning and stick it here because this area is kind of empty. I kind of pictured this being parking, but... I guess we could duplicate that and move another one over here. So yeah, let's go over here. Uh, this is the little gatehouse. I don't have the little pole on there. I removed it for the intro, but I'm going to stick it back on. It's got a little sensor, kind of like the uh, power plant. You run up to it, hits it, comes up, and you can drive right in. And there's your same kind of deal that was in the power plant. It's like a muster point. Uh, probably wouldn't need it for a building like this. At least, I don't think you would. I mean, not unless it catches on fire. But uh, it's not a very big building, so I'm pretty sure you can get out of this one fairly easy. So yeah, let's go over the big forklift. Like I said, I've got to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian. Uh, we just worked back and forth, and we really got this update done fairly, fairly quick. It didn't take too long. It was just a couple of days. So yeah, some of these items, uh, like this forklift, are going to be on his workshop, and then some of the other items, like the actual lot itself, will be on mine. But yeah, this forklift is absolutely awesome. So what you've got here, this is one of those huge ones. You see them a lot of times in like shipping yards. Uh, they're carrying the big crates. Uh, not really carrying them very far, but uh, most times those are used by cranes. But these actually can shuffle stuff around. So we've got this pallet here that's actually made for it. So you can click the one key here. This opens the door. 
The uh, two key lifts it up, three key lifts it or lowers it to the ground. And like the forklifts in the warehouse the other day that we covered, uh, it's the four key actually lifts the arms up a bit and that's to pick stuff up. So you can come right into here. You get a little bit of lag with the two uh, objects colliding here, but this works uh, pretty awesome actually. So let's go ahead, slide those in. We're gonna hit the four key. It's gonna lift it up off the ground. And then we're gonna hit the two key to lift it up in the air. There we go. That's a, it's fairly impressive because that's a heavy object. That is all metal. And then you've got, I think those duct pieces are, I think they might be lightweight. So really just the heavy part is the actual metal part around the wood. So yeah, works pretty good. This would be like, hey, a truck comes in, we're gonna uh, offload it. So we would come up, uh, like I said, the uh, the truck itself, that's welded to it, but if you wanted to put one of these on there and not have it welded down, you could play with it that way and try to unload it. So yeah, you would take it over here. We would get ready for the next process that you saw in the intro. So we're gonna take it over here, hit the two key to lower it, and then we're gonna hit the four key to slide these arms out. We'll just back off it right there. And then we're gonna pull this off the lot and gain some more FPS back before we go on to the inside of the workshop because that's where all the magic happens. All right, we are ready for the next process here. You can see there's a chute over here. A lot of these uh, lumber mills have some sort of conveyor system to make wood go into the building. So say you offload your logs here, you're probably gonna chop it up a little bit to make it into a little bit more reasonable size. So we've got little logs here. Now we don't have a conveyor system. This is actually just like an elevator and a pushing system. Uh, it's a uh, quite a bit less bearing, so that's why we went with this. So we can uh, click the button here. So say if the wood wasn't quite up there, uh, as soon as you click the button, say if it's here at the end, it'll slide it over and roll it forward. And then this is gonna activate, and it's gonna push this wood, uh, like you saw on the intro, it's gonna push it on the inside. So we'll be ready for the next process. Now the workshop itself uh, looks pretty good. I normally use this design for metal buildings. I do the flat layer and then I add these little lines to kind of make it look like a lot of these metal buildings are kind of crinkled. So that's what that's supposed to be. You can come in either on the garage or here to this left side. And here's the workshop. This actually came out really nice. Uh, you've got your lights over here, so turn them on and off. Uh, we've been going with those tan lights. Those tan lights create a really nice, warm, natural light. I like them a lot better than the white lights. So we're gonna be using those from now on. So yeah, you've got several different things going on here in the workshop. Here's the garage door. So say if we've got finished product and that's what this pallet is, or this pallet over here is, uh, it's ready to go. You can see, looks like little pieces here. I just use the uh, wood blocks. It makes it look like it's been treated, cut up, and it's ready to be shipped off. So uh, you would drive something in here, maybe the forklift, grab it, take it out, and load it up on a truck. Uh, the garage door over here works. Pretty awesome. All right, so yeah, you've got a little bit of storage back here. You've got the garage door. Now, say this log is ready to go here on the inside. We've got two different options. Uh, we can stick it in the big machine that you saw in the intro, or if you need to come over here and cut it up even more, I've got a little table saw. So you can hit this button here, and that activates it. So you can go in here, kind of cut it up a little bit. It's not adjustable like a real table saw. It's really just kind of a background uh, piece here. So you've got that, got a little work table over here. Now to get this into the machine, and you gotta remember, like I said, it's it's scrap mechanic. It is not actually working. Uh, it's not cutting this wood in half. If we could design something, if that was a thing, that would be the most awesome thing in scrap mechanic to be able to actually make machines like this. So to load this machine up, and by the way, let's move this piece here. We'll probably use it. Uh, you've got a little uh, area up here, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna actually weld the log in and cut the block, that way it's free. Uh, back here, this is just all the logic uh, that's going on and all the controllers. So if you need to access that for whatever reason. So yeah, what we're going to do, there's a couple pieces that have already been cut. <laughs> when I say cut, like I said, I cut them myself. I didn't do it on the uh, actual machine. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead. We're going to do this. Let's grab our weld tool. And what we're going to do here, which piece can I, oh, I can actually reach that. So we're going to grab this, put it on, and we're going to cut. Oh. I'm going to fall off actually. So let's cut that. That's uh, ready to go here. So you get several different things. Uh, buttons, this starts up the saw. I believe this is our one of our emergency shutdowns. And this is to start the process up. So this elevator is going to tip it over. 
and it's gonna load it up there and this is actually kind of funny when it actually happens uh, this is gonna push it into the little saw but watch what happens when the saw and the log make contact here there it goes <laughs> oh uh oh hold on okay that's bad let's go ahead and let's put that down yeah so it doesn't actually cut so we're gonna turn that off here so say if it did cut it it would cut it right down the middle and they would fall down this little chute here and this chute would lead to the next part of the process so let's grab one of these halves here and we're gonna stick it up on this and yeah, let's see about right here should be okay there it goes it's gonna fall in the sensors are gonna pick it up and you can see the little door pushing it out here there's another chute that's gonna tip it up uh, sometimes this does get lodged like it might lodge itself here nope it tipped over and this is an elevator that's gonna work I had to speed this process up a little bit for the intro because it's it's a little slower but it's just making sure that the wood piece actually gets in position because you can see it's correcting itself right there and then the elevator lifts it up and it's gonna dump it off here there's another set of sensors where there's another door and this is where the wood's gonna get heated up and treated so it's gonna fall down here you can see the uh, thrusters are activating and this door is gonna it's on like a timer and it's gonna come out and slide out the finished product here so there you go now realistically in a sawmill you would probably have a ton of these machines a much bigger building but because of scrap mechanic we always scale things back just a bit so that's actually really cool like I said mr. non Newtonian he's a uh, pretty much a genius when it comes to certain things like this so uh, we definitely work together and just like how do we need to make this sawmill look as realistic for scrap mechanic as possible so like I said gotta thank him on that uh, be sure to visit his workshop so yeah, you are free to go in here, play around with it, play with your friends. Uh, like I said, we are not in the town map. Uh, I would like to put this in the town, off in that wooded area, but it just it did not work. So we will be doing some more modular builds like this. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to do next. Uh, we have a, a year special coming, but it's not town related. It's just a scrap mechanic year special. It's kind of a channel year special coming up. But yeah, comment below with suggestions for town builds. I love hearing your guys' feedback on this. I love hearing the new ideas, stuff that I didn't even think of. So we might return to the truck stop world and we might go back to the normal town world, depending on what you guys want to see next, uh, depending on what we're going to do here. But like I said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Scrap Mechanic here today. Uh, definitely go check out the workshops if you want to download this. Or like I said, I'm going to provide a download, a Dropbox download and everything will be all set up so if you guys which just want to come in here and just play around with it you're more than welcome to do that but anyways folks remember to like and subscribe everything helps my channel and we will see you guys next time on scrap mechanic thank you